views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. This is an initiative of Insight for New Housing's Executive Director Greg Bell in conjunction with BronxNet Public Access Television's channels 67, 68, 69, 70, and Verizon Fios channel 33, 34, 35, and 36. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Tiffany, a BronxNet reporter and correspondent. This is a special informative and educational edition of the Greg Bell Community Calendar brought to you by BronxNet Television. Due to COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus, in this special edition, we would like to offer you tips and public health awareness information that can help you stay safe. Bronx Works presents Food Resource Guide. In an effort to provide the community with vital services and resources during this time, the Bronx Works Community Health Program is sharing food resources available to help those in need. The following restaurants and food distributions will be assisting their communities as circumstances allow. Food Pantries. Carolyn McLaughlin Community Center Food Pantry is located at 1130 Grand Concourse. They are providing food pantry bags every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. while supplies last. For safety, three people will be admitted to enter the pantry at a time. If you need more information, please call 718-508-3169. Jewish Community Council of Pelham Parkway Food Pantry is located at 2157 Holland Avenue. They are providing a food pantry on Thursday from 10.30 a.m. until supplies last. For more information, please call 718-792-4744. Christ Apostolic Church WOSEM Citadel of God Almighty Food Pantry is located at 442 East 183rd Street. They are providing a food pantry on Wednesday between 6.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. For more information, please go to 718-364-4320. Once again, the telephone number is 718-364-4320. Community Food Pantry at Highbridge is located at 8 at 1363 Odin Avenue. Food Pantry requirements bring a photo ID and a current address. Tuesday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. and Thursday from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. If you need more information, please call 718-960-2262. For any questions regarding food resources available, please send an email to rgill at bronxworks.org. Once again, the email is rgill at bronxworks.org. Hey Bronxites and all New Yorkers, the 2020 census is for everyone and is happening now. You can respond online, by phone, or by mail. Despite the coronavirus COVID-19, you must respond to the census. The time is now. Help shape your future and your community's future by responding to the 2020 census. The official Census Bureau mailings will include detailed information and a census ID for completing the census online. During this time frame, some homes will receive a paper questionnaire. The census will ask you a few simple questions about you and everyone who started living with you on April 1, 2020. For the first time, you can choose to complete the census online, by phone, or by mail. You can complete the online questionnaire in English, Spanish, Chinese, Korean, Russian, Polish, French, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, and many other languages. If you did not receive an invitation to respond from the Census Bureau, you may respond online. For more information, please go to 2020census.gov. Once again, the website is 2020census.gov. Can one girl in a small town, an architect in a major city, 
and a suburban high school coach shaped the future of the United States? Yes, they can. Because every 10 years, the census gives us that power. You can shape your future by responding to the 2020 census. Where do we need new roads to make our lives easier? Where will new school programs help our children thrive? Where could a new health clinic benefit neighborhoods? The 2020 census will inform these decisions and shape how billions of dollars will be distributed to communities like yours each year. And in 2020, you can respond to the census online, by phone, or by mail. It's easy, safe, and important. Make sure you and everyone you know is counted. Now is the time for you to get involved. Your community needs you. Together, we can educate and excite, inspire and make sure every voice is heard. Together, we can shape our future. Hey, Bronx small business owner, good news for you. SBA U.S. Small Business Administration presents Coronavirus Relief Options to help you overcome the challenges created by this health crisis. Our nation's small businesses are facing an unprecedented economic disruption due to the coronavirus outbreak. President Trump signed into law the CARES Act, which contains $376 billion in relief for American workers and small businesses. In addition to traditional Small Business Administration funding programs, the CARES Act established several new temporary programs to address the COVID-19 outbreak. Paycheck Protection Program. This loan program provides loan forgiveness for retaining employees by temporarily expanding the traditional SBA loan program. EIDL Loan Advance, this loan advance will provide up to $10,000 of economic relief to businesses that are currently experiencing temporary difficulties. SBA Express Bridge Loans, enables small businesses that currently have a business relationship with an SBA Express lender to access up to $25,000 quickly. SBA Debt Relief, the SBA is providing a financial reprieve to small businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic. For more information, please go to sba.gov. Once again, the website is sba.gov. Pregona's PRTT presents the fourth edition of its 21 Islands International Short Film Fest, streaming online for free from April 15th through the 30th. Curated by filmmaker and media producer Melissa Ramos, films organized in five different groups for easy online access. Each 21 Islands selection is a kaleidoscope of the real and the imagined, bursting with memorable stories and characters and plenty of visual pizzazz. Animation, experimental, and live action films from these island territories and island nations, Australia, Cuba, Cyprus, Hawaii, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Ireland, Japan, Malaysia, Philippines, Puerto Rico, United Kingdom, and much more. 51 short films organized into five fun-packed festivals. Groups included a special showcase just for children and families. For more information on how to watch the Film Fest online for free, please go to pregonasprtt.org. Once again, the website is pregonasprtt.org or call 718-585-1202. Once again, the telephone number is 718-585-1202. New York City Healthcare Volunteers. The City of New York is seeking licensed healthcare workers to support healthcare facility needs during this challenging time. Those interested must complete a two-step process to have their licenses verified and to be properly matched 
the available staffing requests. If you are a licensed out-of-state healthcare worker looking to volunteer, register with ServeNY as a non-medical volunteer and under the Disaster Healthcare Training section of the application process. To complete registration with the Medical Reserve Corps, please go to mrcvp.cityofnewyork.us. Once again, the website is mrcvp. Dot city of New York dot US. Hello, New Yorkers. As the coronavirus COVID-19 continues, it's advancing in the U.S. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, designed the coronavirus guidelines for America. 15 days to slow down the spread. First, listen to and follow the directions of your state and local authorities. If you feel sick, stay home. Do not go to work, contact your medical provider. If your children are sick, keep them at home. Do not send them to school, contact your medical provider. If someone in your household has tested positive for the coronavirus, keep the entire household at home. Do not go to work, do not go to school, contact your medical provider. If you are an older person, stay home and away from other people. If you are a person with a serious underlying health and condition that can put you at risk, for example, a condition that impairs your lung or heart function or weakens your immune system, stay home and away from people. Please do your part to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. Even if you are young or otherwise healthy, you are at risk and your activities can increase the risk for others. It is critical that you do your part to slow down the coronavirus. For more information and to educate yourself, please go to cdc.gov. Once again, the website is cdc.gov. The New York Botanical Garden presents Introduction to Plant Science from April 23rd to May 21st, 2020. This class will be taking place online. Registered students will receive login instructions. Designed for students who want a user-friendly introduction to plant science, this course surveys the major groups of plants, flowering conifer, ferns, and bryophytes, focusing on plant form and structure. Learn about the relationships between appearance and function, ecology, systematics, and evolution, and become more botanically literate. Lab work will be modified for at-home participation. This class will be held on April 23rd to May 21st, 2020, from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. For more information, please go to nybg.org. Once again, the website is nybg.org. Attention Bronx High School students. The Van Cortlandt Park Alliance is offering two paid internship programs for high school students. One, Garden to Market Internship, and two, Urban Eco Teens. When we understand where our food comes from and where it goes, we can make better decisions about what we buy and eat. This internship is for anyone interested in our food system, and it covers topics from growing to selling and eating. During the summer, interns spend time in our garden learning about growing vegetables, composting, and the social and community aspects of a garden, and time exploring food justice issues and learning about the business of running a weekly farm stand. The internship includes many chances to taste and cook new foods and recipes because no internship about food is complete without eating. Apply now for the 2020 Garden to Market Internship. Deadline extended applications are due by May 8, 2020. For more information, please send an email to sarah at vancortland.org. Once again, the email is sarah, S-A-R-A, at vancortland.org. BronxWorks presents Food Resource Guide. In an effort to provide the community with vital services and resources during this time, 
The Bronx Works Community Health Programs is sharing food resources available to help those in need. Shaloy Temple Pentecostal Church Food Pantry is located at 719 East 223rd Street, Bronx, New York. Time, Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Thursday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please contact 718-405-1280 for more information. Project Bravo, located at 3058 Bainbridge Avenue. They are providing a food pantry on Monday and Friday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. During COVID-19, clients who arrive early will receive a food pantry. For more information, you can call 718-655-3648, extension 23. Salvation Army Bronx Citadel Food Pantry and Soup Kitchen is located at 425 East 159th Street. They are providing a food pantry on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. ID and proof of address is required. For more information, please call 718-665-8472. For any questions regarding food resources available, please send an email to rgill at bronxworks.org. Once again, the email is rgill at bronxworks.org. Hey Bronx parents, in Blaze Academy Charter School located at 1164 Garrison Avenue, Bronx, New York, is calling all current 4th and 5th grade families. Enroll today. There are limited seats for the 2020-2021 school year. In Blaze Academy is founded on the belief that all students, regardless of race, socioeconomic status, home language, or zip code can learn and achieve at high levels when held to the highest expectations. Students will continue to have access to high quality instruction regardless of all that is happening outside. For more information, please call 929-388-0011. Once again, the telephone number is 929-388-0011. Or visit their website at emblazeacademy.org. Once again, the website is emblazeacademy.org. Hey, Bronxites, IRS Taxpayer Assistance Center Statement. As the COVID 19 crisis continues to develop, the IRS is taking multiple steps to protect our employees, America's taxpayers, communities, and our partners. In response to the national emergency, the IRS has temporarily closed all taxpayer assistance centers and discontinued face-to-face -face service throughout the country until further notice. The IRS is continuing to process tax returns, issue refunds, and help taxpayers to the greatest extent possible. Taxpayers are highly encouraged to go to irs.gov and to the newly created irs.gov slash coronavirus. You can find the latest updates about IRS services, explore free options to file, or request an extension to file at irs.gov slash free file. Find forms, tax help, refund status, and payment options. For more information, please go to irs.gov slash coronavirus. Once again, the website is irs.gov slash coronavirus. Hey, Bronx small business owner, SBA Coronavirus Economic Injury Disaster Loan is for you. 
The Small Business Administration, SBA, is offering low-interest federal disaster loans for working capital to A, small businesses, or B, private nonprofit organizations that are suffering substantial economic injury as a result of the coronavirus. If you are a New York State-based business, they can help guide you through this loan process. Here are the details. Your business must be experiencing a business loss due to COVID-19. Entities may qualify for loans up to $2 million. Maximum unsecured loan amount is $25,000. Interest rates, 3.75% for small business, 2.75% for private nonprofits. Term up to 30 years. Use of funds. Working capital, paying fixed debts, payroll, accounts payable, other bills that could have been paid had the disaster not occurred. Applicants can have an existing SBA loan or other SBA loan and still qualify for this disaster loan. For more information, please go to nyssbdc.org. Once again, the website is nyssbdc.org or call 800-659-2955. Once again, the telephone number is 800-659-2955. This concludes this edition of the Speaking Community Calendar. The following public service announcements are available to the public all year long. Hey Bronxites and all New Yorkers, the 2020 census is for everyone and is happening now. You can respond online, by phone, or by mail. Despite the coronavirus COVID-19, you must respond to the census. The time is now. Help shape your future and your community's future by responding to the 2020 Census. The official Census Bureau mailings will include detailed information and a Census ID for completing the Census online. During this time frame, some homes will receive a paper questionnaire. The Census will ask you a few simple questions about you and everyone who started living with you on April 1, 2020. For the first time, you can choose to complete the census online, by phone, or by mail. You can complete the online questionnaire in English, Spanish, Chinese, Korean, Russian, Polish, French, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, and many other languages. If you did not receive an invitation to respond from the Census Bureau, you may respond online. For more information, please go to 2020census.gov. Once again, the website is 2020census.gov. Can one girl in a small town, an architect in a major city, and a suburban high school coach shape the future of the United States? Yes, they can. Because every 10 years, the census gives us that power. You can shape your future by responding to the 2020 census. Where do we need new roads to make our lives easier? Where will new school programs help our children thrive? Where could a new health clinic benefit neighborhoods? The 2020 census will inform these decisions and shape how billions of dollars will be distributed to communities like yours each year. And in 2020, you can respond to the census online, by phone, or by mail. It's easy, safe, and important. Make sure you and everyone you know is counted. Now is the time for you to get involved. Your community needs you. Together, we can educate and excite, inspire and make sure every voice is heard. Together, we can shape our future. New York City Health Department presents guidance for people with HIV. Most people with HIV do not need to take additional precautions for COVID-19. There is no evidence that having HIV puts you at greater risk of the severe illness. People with HIV should take these steps to protect themselves. Take HIV and other medicines as prescribed. This will help keep your immune system strong. 
your CD4 count high, and your viral load undetectable. Maintain a supply of all your medicines. Do not wait until you are running low. Ask your HIV care provider or pharmacy for an additional month's supply of medicines. If you have trouble getting medicines, call the New York Uninsured Care Programs at 800-542-2437. Have a way to contact your HIV clinic. We may all have to stay home for the next few weeks. Use the clinic's online portal or make, you, or make sure you can contact your providers by phone or text. Get the recommended vaccinations for flu and pneumonia. These vaccines prevent respiratory illnesses that could be confused with COVID-19 and help prevent getting too serious respiratory respiratory illness and help to get these vaccines prevent respiratory illnesses. These vaccines help prevent respiratory illness that could be confused with COVID-19 and help and help prevent getting two serious respiratory illnesses at once. For more information, please go to nyc.gov slash coronavirus. Once again, the website is nyc.gov slash coronavirus. Hey, Bronx small business owner, SBA Coronavirus Economic Injury Disaster Loan is for you. The Small Business Administration, SBA, is offering low-interest federal disaster loans for working capital to A, small businesses, or B, private nonprofit organizations that are suffering substantial economic injury as a result of the coronavirus. If you are a New York State-based business, they can help guide you through this loan process. Here are the details. Your business must be experiencing a business loss due to COVID-19. Entities may qualify for loans up to $2 million. Maximum unsecured loan amount is $25,000. Interest rates, 3.75% for small business, 2.75% for private nonprofits. Term up to 30 years. Use of funds. Working capital, paying fixed debts, payroll, accounts payable, other bills that could have been paid had the disaster not occurred. Applicants can have an existing SBA loan or other SBA loan and still qualify for this disaster loan. For more information, please go to nyssbdc.org. Once again, the website is nyssbdc.org or call 800-659-2955. Once again, the telephone number is 800-659-2955. I'd like to thank all my speaking community calendar viewers and listeners for tuning into the speaking community calendar. Now, to submit your community event, please go to bronxnet.org slash your Bronx. Once again, it's bronxnet.org slash your Bronx. The Greg Bell Community Calendar is brought to you by Bronxnet Public Access Television, Channel 67, 68, 69, and 70, along with... Verizon BIOS Channel 33, 34, 35, and 36.